Welcome to the championship round of the National World War II Museum's 2022 High School Quiz Bowl. My name's Pete Crane, I'm the Vice President of Education and Access, and I'm tonight's Quiz Master. Here to bring you this exciting championship contest between Holy Cross High School from New Orleans, Louisiana, and Catholic High School from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. On February 12th, 10 high school teams met at the National World War II Museum in downtown New Orleans to compete in the preliminary round of this year's World War II High School Quiz Bowl. From that, two, from that competition, these two teams have emerged to battle here tonight. So let's take a look at how they advance to this championship round. Welcome to the National World War II Museum's World War II High School Quiz Bowl here in our beautiful U.S. Freedom Pavilion, the Boeing Center. Let's start the 2022 World War II High School Quiz Bowl. This strategic island's name translates to the gathering place. What does the DP in DP camp stand for? Douglas Monroe was the only member of which military branch to receive the Medal of Honor in World War II? What does the acronym LCVP stand for? When did the last of the Japanese American incarceration centers close? Name this famous January 1942 conference held in a southwest Berlin suburb. Our top two teams today advancing in a very, very tight uh, competition are in second place we have Holy Cross School the Flying Tigers with 36 points and in first place with 39 and a half points we have Catholic High the Allies well done to those two teams and to all the teams today You had a chance to meet the contestants on the video. Now let's meet them in person. On my right, I have Catholic High School from Baton Rouge under the leadership of Suzanne Williams. Students, please buzz in and tell us your name, grade, and your favorite subject to study in World War II. I'm Christian Black. I'm a junior, and I like to study the Pacific Theater. I'm Matthew Lynn, also a junior, and I like to study the western front of the European theater. I'm Benjamin Chasson. I'm in eighth grade and I like to study D-Day. Thank you so much. On my left, I have Holy Cross High School from New Orleans under the leadership of Mike Arvidas. Students, please buzz in and tell us your name, grade, and favorite World War II subject to study. My name is Ashton Castro. I am a senior and my favorite study favorite subject to study is the Nazi pseudo-mythology that came under wraps during the war. My name is Caleb Moore. I'm also a senior, and my favorite thing to study is the air war. My name is Jackson Swift. Uh, I'm also a senior, and my favorite thing to study is the Soviet involvement in the war, as well as African Americans' involvement in the war. Thank you, gentlemen. The format for this championship contest is quite different from our preliminary competition. We'll have four rounds in tonight's championship, and there will be questions about battlefronts and the home front, about personalities and equipment, but also about geography and World War II slang terms. So teams, let's begin round one. In this first round, there will be 15 toss-up questions. I'll read a question and the first person to buzz in and answer the question correctly will, in, will earn his team 10 points. There's no conferring during this round. Also, if you buzz in before the question is completed and answer incorrectly, your team will lose five points. If a player gives an incorrect answer and no answer after buzzing in, or a no answer before buzzing in, a player from the opposing team will have the opportunity to buzz in and answer the question. Again, there's no conferring to, with other team members during this round. So teams, are we ready? Okay, let's begin. First question. List the three main Axis powers in alphabetical. Castro, Holy Cross. Germany, Italy, and Japan. 
Germany, Italy, and Japan is correct. Question number two. List the three main Axis powers in order of population size, largest to smallest during... Catholic Olent. Germany, Italy, Japan. Uh, that is not correct. Do we have an answer over here? Germany, Japan, Italy. That is also not correct. The correct answer is Japan, Germany, and Italy. Japan, Germany, and Italy. Question three. The United States, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, China, place them in order of population from smallest to largest during World War II. Catholic Olend. The United States, Soviet Union, China. And that is correct. The United States, Soviet Union, and China is correct. So, question number four. The United States, Soviet Union, China, place them in order of total land area largest to small. Catholic Olind. Russia, China, the United States. And that is also correct. Question number five. To retake the Philippines, the American military planners had to know the geography of hundreds of islands that compose it. Who can put these three major Philippine islands in order from north to south? Mindanao, Luzon, and Leyte. Catholic Black. Mindanao, Leyte, Luzon. That is not correct. Holy Cross, do we have any? Luzon, Leyte, Mindanao. That is correct. Well done. Okay, question number six. By 1942, Hitler's Atlantic Wall stretched from Norway in the north to the Spanish border in the south. Why did the Atlantic Wall stop at Spain? Holy Cross, Castro. Spain was neutral at this time? That is correct. Spain was a neutral country. Question number seven. When Lake Ladoga froze in the winter of 1941, it became the Road of Light. Holy Cross, Swift. Road of uh, Supplies. Uh, that is not correct. Uh, let me finish reading the question, and uh, then Catholic will have an opportunity to answer. When Lake Ladoga froze in the winter of 1941, it became the road of life, allowing transport of a limited amount of food and supplies into what besieged city? Catholic Olend. Leningrad. Leningrad is correct. Question number eight. The war in North Africa saw fighting that spanned the entire northern boundary of the continent. Who can name the five countries of North Africa? Catholic Black. Egypt, Libya, Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco. And that is not correct. I'll finish the question and uh, then Holy Cross will have a chance to answer. The war in North Africa saw fighting that spanned the entire northern boundary of the continent. Who can name the five countries of North Africa from west to east where the, US, where the World War II campaigns took place? Holy Cross, more. Morocco. Algeria, Tunisia, Libya, Egypt? And that is correct. Question number nine. Switzerland was officially neutral during World War II, but was surrounded on all sides by the fighting. Which five countries border Switzerland today? Catholic Olent. France, Germany, Liechtenstein, Italy, and... Austria. And Austria. That's correct. Good, good job on Liechtenstein. That one gets overlooked all the time. Question number 10. In which European country taken over by the Nazis would you find the cities of Bergen, Trondheim, Lillehammer, and Oslo? Catholic Black. Norway. Norway is correct. Question number 11. Japan is an island country made up of four major islands and hundreds of smaller islands. On which island can you find the capital city of Tokyo? Is it Hokkaido, 
Kyushu, Honshu, or Shikoku? Catholic Olend. Haishu? That is not correct. Shikoku. That is also not correct. There is not an island named Haishu. It is Honshu. Okay, question number 12. In May of 1941, German Deputy Fuhrer Rudolf Hess embarked on a solo flight to the United Kingdom in hopes of arranging peace talks. In which country of the United Kingdom did Hess land? Catholic Olend. Scotland? Scotland is correct. Question number 13. The USS Sable and the USS Wolverine were aircraft carriers used to train naval aviators in the United States during World War II. Many planes that crashed and sank during these training missions were still in relatively good condition due to the cold water and lack of oxygen in which Great Lake bordering Chicago? Catholic Olend. Lake Michigan? Lake Michigan is correct. Question 14. In March of 1944, a volcanic eruption destroyed more than 80 of the 340th Bombardment Group's airplanes stationed at Pompeii Airfield. What was the name of the volcano? Catholic Black. Vesuvius. Mount Vesuvius is the name of that volcano. That's correct. And question number 15. During World War II, Kiev, Kharkov, and Odessa were cities in the Soviet Union. In what country can they be found? Holy Cross, Swift. Ukraine. Ukraine is correct. Well, that's the end of our first round. Uh, before we check the scores, let's take a closer look at, at the team from Catholic High School from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I'm Benjamin Chasson, and I am an eighth grader here at Catholic. I'm Matthew Lynn, and I'm a junior. My name is Christian Black, and I'm a junior. Well, I love history because it's the story of humanity. You know, you get to learn all these interesting things about what's happened in the past. I'm really interested in World War II it's because, well, it's one of the most defining points of modern history. It's really made things how they are now. It's arguably like the most important war in history and it was deadliest, so it was just, it's really important. It's influenced a lot of like the modern world. Many of the things that happened during World War II are happening in the present day and we need to learn to correct that. The most surprising thing to me about World War II is just the sheer scale of it. It's this huge conflict that involved every aspect of almost everybody in the world's lives. Like, I've seen stuff about there being fighting in Lebanon and like all kinds of places I had no idea like the fighting ever got to. So I think that's interesting. Just the culture behind it, like how different people responded to it, such as actors going to the front lines, um, visiting the soldiers and boosting morale. Well, it's been really exciting. It's just been, you know, you get the rush of having realized that you won, and then, you know, you realize, hey, I need to step up my game so I can be able to win. So you start reading more and more and try to really get into the nitty-gritty details of everything. Really nerve-wracking, but it is very exciting because I am hyping myself up for it, um, which also leads to more nervousness, but uh, it's exciting because I'm just trying to brush up on as much as I can. I think we have a good shot at winning, but we can't always underestimate our opponents. So I'm just looking forward to hopefully winning um, and just learning more of World War II history. Quiz Bowl is a pretty big deal here and like the club is like we run it pretty importantly so like if we win this it'll be like a big thing like just for us. Welcome back. Now let's take a look at the scores after round one. After the first round, Catholic High School has 75, followed by Holy Cross with 45, but there's a lot of points still left on the table. Great job in the first round, gents. Let's begin round two. This round is our bonus round. I have eight questions that will work just like the toss-ups in round one, each being worth 10 points. But when a player supplies a correct answer, the team will get an opportunity to answer four bonus questions. Each of those questions will be worth five points for a total of 20 bonus points. Teams can confer on answers only during the bonus questions. 
Again, there's a five point penalty if you answer a toss up incorrectly before I have a chance to complete the full question. So let's start round number two. Question one. In the 1945 film, Keep Your Powder Dry, Hollywood beauty Lana Turner joins this female branch of the Army. It was formed as an auxiliary in 1942 and was granted full-time status in 1943, thereby losing an A from its name. What's the group called? Anyone, gentlemen? Okay, they would be the WAX or the Women's Army Corps. So we will not have bonus questions from that round or from that, that question. So question number two. Tens of thousands of soldiers and sailors spent, quote, seven hours in the ditch, unquote, as they moved from the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean or from the Atlantic to the Pacific. What was the ditch? Catholic Olind. The Panama Canal? The Panama Canal is correct. So you will have an the opportunity for four bonus questions. Your first bonus question, and you are allowed to confer on these, is on August 19, 1942, the Western Allies attempted a disastrous raid on a German-held French port of Dieppe. Which Allied nation suffered more than 3,000 casualties in that unsuccessful raid? Canada. Canada is correct. Your second bonus question. More than 250,000 Gurkhas served in special units within the British and Indian armies during World War II. What country did these well-regarded soldiers come from? Nepal. Nepal is correct. The August 1942 Battle of Milne Bay on the eastern tip of New Guinea is considered to be the first of, in the Pacific Campaign in which Allied troops decisively defeated Japanese land forces. Which Allied nation supplied the bulk of the fighting force in that victory? Australia. Australia is correct. And the fourth bonus question is, what was the popular name for Mexico's Esquadron 201, which flew combat missions against the Japanese in the Philippines? Do we have an answer? The Eagles. Very close. The Aztec Eagles. So, very close, but that is incorrect. Okay, so this next question is for everyone. Question number three. This is a fabrication process used to connect metal pieces together by means of coalescence. Workers... Catholic Olind. Welding? Welding is correct, so you'll have an opportunity for four bonus questions. These questions are about war production on the home front. Question number one. The first ship of this type decided to serve as a cargo and merchant transports were launched on September 27, 1941 at Bethlehem Fairfield Yards in Baltimore, Maryland. What were these ships called? Fletcher? No, they were called Liberty ships. That one's incorrect. Okay, number two. Before, during, and after World War II, the Springfield Armory in Massachusetts produced over 4.5 million of these famous weapons. Right. What are they? M1 Garands? They are the M1 Garand rifle, that's correct. Question number three. This largest American bomber had more than 100,000 parts. What is it? B-29. The B-29 is correct. And the last bonus question is the Civilian Public Service, or CPS, was a program that provided nearly 12,000 Americans an alternative to military service during World War II in works of national importance. By what name were these 12,000 Americans known? Actors. They were conscientious objectors. So, okay, for question number four, everybody can answer. 
In 1942, what song by Irving Berlin from the movie Holiday Inn won the best song Oscar? It has a color in the ho and a holiday in its title. It starts... Holy Cross Swift. White Christmas. White Christmas is correct. Nice. So Holy Cross will have an opportunity to answer uh, these, these four questions about music. Fill in the missing words to these songs from World War II. Blank, 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 a wing and a prayer. Uh, pass. Okay, that would be coming in on a wing and a prayer. Three words, blank, 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 sentimental journey. Goodbye, farewell, or something. I don't know what the third would be. I ain't got a clue. Uh, goodbye, farewell, adieu. It's going to take a sentimental journey. The same thing. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Four words, blank, 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 Mr. Jones. Good luck next time. I don't know. It's like Wordle, but worse. Uh, good luck next time. Yep. This is the Army, Mr. Jones. Same thing. No private rooms or telephones. Okay, three words, blank, 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 don't know where, don't know when. Uh, pass. We'll meet again. Don't know where, oh, don't know Lynn. when. <laughs> oh, I came out in 1929. <laughs> okay, so everyone can answer this question. <laughs> Who am I? I was born in 1882. I went to Harvard and Columbia Law. During World War I, I was Assistant Secretary of the Navy. I was an unsuccessful vice presidential candidate in 1920. But I was Catholic Olind. F FDR. FDR. Franklin Roosevelt is correct. So you got opportunities with these bonus questions. And these are all about FDR. What day of the week did Roosevelt deliver his Day of Infamy speech? Monday. Monday. Monday is correct. Question number two. During World War II, newspaper, radio, and magazine reporters often had, a great, often had great access to President Roosevelt. But it was an unspoken rule that they would not report on what aspect of the president's physical condition. He was crippled? He had paralysis due to polio, so that's correct. Question number three. Name any two of the four Republicans that FDR defeated for the presidency in his four elections. Any two. Hoover and Plandon? It was Herbert Hoover and Alf Landon. The other two were Wendell Wilkie and Thomas Dewey. Question number four. What was the cause of Roosevelt's death on April 12th, 1945 in Warm Springs, Georgia? Stroke. He had a cerebral hemorrhage, often called a stroke, so that's correct. Okay, anyone can answer this question. In February 1942, just two months after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, Phil Johnson sent, went to the Marines with an idea of sending coded messages using a particular set of people who spoke a... Holy Cross Swift. Navajo. Navajo is correct. So you'll have the opportunity to answer these four questions about the Navajo code. Okay, so what do these Navajo, Navajo terms translate to? Lotso, a type of ship meaning a whale. A oh, submarine? A uh, submarine. It's a battleship. Oh. Uh, Atsa Besh Lagai, a military rank meaning silver eagle. General? That would be a colonel. Nehe Ma, a country name meaning our mother. 
our mother, that would be like, uh, maybe US, probably Russia. Yeah, you know, the motherland, that sort of thing. Uh, Russia. Uh, that would be the United States. Dang. I was... Chayesh Desi. Another country name meaning rolled hat. Uh, China? It would be Australia. The Australians had the oh, flat hat yeah. up on the side. I read about how that was like in propaganda. Okay, so question number seven. Anyone can, can answer this one. Chilled grapefruit juice, cream of tomato soup, roast Vermont turkey with giblet gravy, June peas, cranberry sauce, boiled fresh onions, candied sweet potatoes, pineapple and cheese salad, mayonnaise dressing, sweet mixed pickles, hard candy, pumpkin or apple pie, bread, butter, and coffee. This was the 1943 menu that the Quartermaster Corps promised to U.S. troops in Italy for what November night? Catholic Olent. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is correct. So you'll have these four bonus questions, all about food during World War II. In 1943, the Army's fatigue uniform was designed with larger pockets to be able to hold one boxed meal, breakfast, dinner, or supper, of which kind of ration? An MRE. It would be K rations. Yep, the MREs didn't come out for quite a while later. With a gastronomic legacy spanning back to World War II, residents of Hawaii today eat an average of 16 cans of what each year? Spam. Spam is correct. If you were a U.S. sailor on a battleship during World War II, what sweet treat would you have looked forward to at a gadunk stand? Gadunk or gedunked? Ice cream. Ice cream is correct. In 1943, with many meat and dairy products heavily rationed, Kraft Foods sold 80 million blue boxes of what food? Tuna. Macaroni and cheese. They still come in the little blue box. Okay, question number eight. Anybody can answer this question. This allegorical book, published in 1945, gra gained great popularity during the Cold War era. Catholic Oland. Animal Farm? Animal Farm is correct. So you have the opportunity for four bonus questions about animals in World War II. Question number one. Psychologist and beha behaviorist B.F. Skinner conceived of and received $25,000 to develop a guided missile using what kind of birds as a guidance system? Pigeons. Pigeons is correct. Question number two, William the Conqueror, Willie for short, was a white bull terrier who accompanied which American army general throughout his campaigns in Europe? Eisenhower. You were close, it was George Patton. The 10th Mountain Division used more than 10,000 of what kind of animal as they fought through rugged terrain in northern Italy? Mules. Mules. Mules are correct. And your fourth question, due to its strength, elasticity, and resistance to extreme temperatures, the U.S. military used this substance to make crosshairs in gun sites during World War II. Plastic. That would be spider silk. So. Well, great job in round two, everyone. We're going to give everyone a chance to catch their breath. We're halfway through this exciting competition. The excitement continues with an update of the scores after the break. Everybody stay tuned. They were ordinary people, just like you and me who never expected to find themselves like this. But they found courage. They found grit, grace. They found strength in each other. And in their stories, we find strength within. The National World War II Museum. Find the extraordinary inside. 
Looking for your next adventure? Join me, Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser, and my friends from around the state as we uncover the latest things to do and see on Louisiana travel. Learn about our traditions, see where history happened, and so much more. Invite your friends and family back for a Louisiana homecoming. Come one, come y'all, and feed your soul every Wednesday at 7 p.m. on Your View, Cox Channel 4. In World War II, the road to Berlin followed many paths. Some marched the sun-scorched deserts of North Africa, while others crawled the sands of Omaha Beach. From the rubble-strewn streets of Italy to the frozen forest of the Ardennes, each soldier, sailor, and airman's journey was his own. But all were united by a common cause, victory. Follow in their footsteps on the road to Berlin, new at the National World War II Museum. It should have been impossible, crossing the world's widest ocean to answer an attack made by a powerful adversary. From island to island to island, we fought through hostile terrain, malnutrition, disease, and at every step, an enemy that just kept coming. It should have been impossible. Find out how millions of Americans pushed past impossible on the road to Tokyo, new at the National World War II Museum. Welcome back to the championship round of the National World War II Museum's 2022 High School Quiz Bowl. We're here with the two final teams, Holy Cross High School from New Orleans and Catholic High School from Baton Rouge. During the break, we tabulated the scores and Catholic is leading Holy Cross with a score of 190 to 65. So now we're ready to begin round three, our lightning round. There are four categories of questions in this round. Team members will have only 90 seconds to answer 10 questions in each category. Correct answers are 10 points each. All questions are visual and will appear on the monitors. Our four categories are, what am I? Who am I? What year is it? And divisional patches. The team trailing at this point of the competition will choose our first, our first, uh, our first category. So since that is Holy Cross, um, please tell us which category you'll choose. Wait, only out of all four or just? Out of all two? four. Oh, patches. Wanna do, wait, if, it, if we get to choose all four, then wanna do year or patches? Choose. Uh, can we do patches? You can do I, patches. I can't remember anything anymore. So let's go with divisional patches. You'll have 90 seconds to answer all to identify these patches. Do we need to buzz in or just say no. that? You do not need to buzz in. Uh, 100, uh, 80 second. 80 second airborne. 80 second airborne is correct. Ooh, that's 29th. 29th infantry division is correct. 101st. The 101st Airborne Division is correct. That's diamond, I don't remember. The 9th? That's the 5th Infantry Division, that is not correct. Okay, that looks like a 5. Uh, here, just say 5 something. 5 Airborne, maybe? 3rd? Uh, That's the 69th Infantry Division. Funny number. Uh, big first big Infantry Division. First Infantry Division, or the Big Red One. Let's say 30-something. 30 32nd? 30 Very close. That's the 31st Infantry Division, or the Dixie Division. The Charms. The 43rd? That Also very close. That's the 42nd Infantry Division, or the Rainbow Division. 92nd Buffalo Soldiers? 92nd Infantry Division, the Buffalo Soldiers, is correct. 4th Infantry Division? 4th Infantry Division is correct, or the IV Division. <laughs> Good job on that one. Okay, so Catholic, uh, you still have what am I, who am I, or what year is it? What year is it? What year is it? You will see 10 items, you've got 90 seconds, and you have to identify what the year is.
1918. 1933. 1936. 1936 is correct. 1943. 1943 is correct. Singapore. 1940. 1942 wow. is the correct year. 1944. That would be 1945. Oh. 1944. 1944 is correct. 1945. That'd be 1939. Stalin and Ribbentrop. 1945. 1945 is correct. 1944. 1944 is correct. And your last one? 1944. 1945. That'd be February of 1945. Yeah, Iwo Jima's like a big Yeah, Iwo Jima. That's my bad. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Coming back over to Holy Cross, you have what am I or who am I? Uh, what am I? What am I? Okay. You, these 10, you have to identify these 10 items in 90 seconds. Is that the inflatable thing? A uh, mulberry? That is a mulberry or a phoenix caisson. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, V1? V1 rocket is correct. Barrage balloon? That is a barrage balloon. That's correct. Coat of arms? Pass? That would be the combat infantryman's badge. Liberation dollar? No. U.S. dollar? That is called a short snorter with all the signatures on it. Oh. Canterbury? That would be a PBY Catalina or a consolidated PBY Catalina. Looks like a JIP 36 to me. Um, not a capture flag. I think that's a. No, I think that's a. When they would capture like the unit flags. A uh, capture flag? That would be a blood chit. Is that a T-34? A uh, T-34. That is a T-34 tank. That's correct. I did, uh... A ghetto coin either. Uh... Uh, occupation coin. Those are ration tokens. Oh. Which is incorrect. BAR. And your number 10? Uh, BAR. BAR. Yep, that's the BAR, the Browning Automatic Rifle. That's correct. That thing slapped back and caught zombies. Okay, so we're down to one category. We're down to who am I? So you'll have 10 people to identify and 90 seconds. Bradley. That is George Marshall, the Army Chief of Staff. Spare? That is Admiral Carl Dernitz. Hughes. That is Jerry Colonna. Franco? Yep, Francisco Franco is correct. Pius? Can you be... Pius the 10th? Pope Pius the 12th. Sorry. Okay. Smith. That's Joe Lewis. Fitzgerald. That is Josephine Baker. Mm -hmm. 
Montgomery. That would be Ernie Pyle. Tojo. Tojo? That is correct. Hideki Cho Tojo is correct. That's Nimitz. That's yes. Nimitz? And that is correct. That's Admiral Chester Nimitz. Okay, everyone did a great job on that round. Uh, before we take a look at the scores, let's take a closer look at the team from Holy Cross High School from New Orleans. My name is Ashton Castro, and I go to Holy Cross High School, and I'm a senior. My name is Caleb Moore, I'm a senior at Holy Cross. My name is Jackson Swift, I'm a senior here at Holy Cross. World War II is one of the most monumental uh, events in human history, let alone modern human history. It's one of the most well-studied and well-developed platforms in order to introduce people into history, which allow for more nuanced views and introductions into other routes of history. I think the most interesting thing I found about World War II was how it bled into the civil rights movement in America with large amounts of African-American soldiers who served, utilizing their platform and serving in one of the largest wars in human history. Probably the most surprising part of World War II was like the Allied bombing campaign, the aftermath of it. Um, I love the, learning how the German civilians felt because you never really get to see that part because you know they're the enemy of that war so you don't really see them as human. So in working together as a team you start to take knowledge pools from three different people um, and it's really easy to confirm your answers, especially when you have some self-doubt. A lot of people have this preconceived notion that to do Quiz Bowl, you have to be this really A1 scholar, incredibly smart in every topic, when in reality, Quiz Bowl is a lot about covering different bases. So if I'll have one guy who's really good at sports, or another guy who's really good at geography, or another guy who's really good at science, there will always be a niche for you. There will always be a question that covers your interest. I'm looking forward to uh, meet the other team, but also just have a whole lot more fun uh, with my teammates together. Um, it's been a while since we've done a Quiz Bowl competition, so this is going to be really fun. I'm looking forward to have the opportunity to flex my knowledge in these topics, as well as to compete against other people who are, uh, who are just as qualified or even more qualified than me in knowledge of these topics. I, I always am a fan of friendly competition. Well, the scores are in, and after three rounds, the score is Holy Cross 175 to Catholic 270. Our fourth and final round will be similar to the first round. I'll read the first question, and the first person to buzz in and answer the question correctly will earn their team 10 points. There's no conferring during this round. Also, if you buzz in before the question is completed and answer incorrectly, your team will lose five points. If a player gives an incorrect answer or no answer, a player from the second team has the opportunity to buzz in and answer the question. Again, there's no conferring amongst the team members during this round. Here we go. The alternate fiction novel and now TV series, Man in the High Castle, exploring the implications of an Axis victory in World War II, was written by which author? Catholic Olind. Philip K. Dick. Philip K. Dick is correct. Question number two. Who was the Japanese commander on Iwo Jima? Was it Yamamoto, Nagumo, Kurabayashi, or Kurita? Catholic, uh, uh, Holy Cross, Castro. Nagumo? That's incorrect. Catholic Black. May you repeat the answers? They could be Yamamoto, Nagumo, Kurabayashi, or Kurita? Kurita? It was Kurabayashi. Oh Question number three. Hitler's Directive number 16 states in part, the English Air Force must be beaten down to such an extent that it can no longer muster any power of attack worth mentioning against the German crossing. What operation is Hitler? Holy Cross, oh, Swift. Operation Sea Lion. Operation Sea Lion is correct. Question number four. What was a long lance and which country used them? I 
Nice. Holy Cross, Castro. It was a tank in England. Uh, good guess, but it was a torpedo from Japan. Land torpedo. Question number five. In the 1940 destroyers for bases deal, the U.S. gave Great Britain 50 mothballed destroyers in exchange for land rights on British possessions in the Western Hemisphere. Name an island on which one of... Catholic Black. Iceland? That is incorrect. I'll finish the question. In the 1940 Destroyers for Bases deal, the U.S. gave Great Britain 50 mothballed destroyers in exchange for land rights on British possessions in the Western Hemisphere. Name an island on which one of these bases was located. Holy Cross, more. Bermuda. Can you say that again? Bermuda. Bermuda is correct. The other islands would have been the Bahamas, Jamaica, San Lucia, Trinidad, Antigua, or British Guyana. Question number six. Radar. What does it stand for? Catholic Olind. Radio audio detection. Uh, radio um, audio detection. Um. Okay. Do we have an answer? No? Okay, it's radio. Wait, wait. Radio, audio, deflection, and something with an R. Um, <laughs> relocation. Nice try. It's radio detection and ranging. It's like the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, question number seven. What was the legal voting age for American men? Catholic Olind. 21. 21 is correct. Question number eight. What was the legal voting age for American women in World War II? Catholic Olind. 21. 21 is correct. Okay. Trick question. Wow, that's cruel. Cool. Question number nine. Who signed the German instrument of surrender for Germany? He was a newly appointed Reich president following Hitler's suicide. Catholic Olind. Hess. That is incorrect. Holy oh, Cross more. Karl Donitz. That is correct. Karl Donitz was the Reich's president at the end. Question number 10. In 1945, the Supreme Court Justice Robert Jackson took a leave of absence from the court. Why? Catholic Black. He was attending the Nuremberg trials? Close, but not quite. Holy Cross Castro. He was oh, well, you said close to that. I was going to say he was about a dispute, or they were about to take up a dispute against uh, desegregating the military, but that's not close. He was to serve as the prosecutor at the Nuremberg trials. Oh. Okay. No one gets the points on that one. Question number 11. The model 1913 cavalry sword was designed... Holy Cross, Castro. Eisenhower? I'll finish the question for Catholic. So it's incorrect. It's incorrect. Okay. <laughs> the model 1930, 1913 cavalry sword was a cavalry sword designed for the U.S. Army by which second lieutenant and later general? Catholic Oland. Patton? George S. Patton is correct. In the name. Question number 12. This German commander at Stalingrad was promoted to the rank... Catholic Black. Paulus. Friedrich Paulus is correct. Question number 13. This flower with 16 petals, the symbol of the Japanese emperor, was usually stamped on the receiver of rifles manufactured for the imperial Japanese... Catholic Oland. Cherry Blossom? That is incorrect. And I didn't finish that one, so we'll, we'll 
give you an opportunity. This flower with 16 petals, the symbol of the Japanese emperor, was usually stamped on the receiver of rifles manufactured for the Imperial Japanese Army. Holy Cross Moor. Dakota trees? It was a chrysanthemum, the chrysanthemum flower. Question number 14. Saipan, Guam, and Tinian are all part of which Catholic black? The Mariana Islands? The Mariana Islands is correct. Question number 15. This famous post-war American civil rights activist was born in 1929, the same year as Anne. Holy Cross Castro. Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. is correct. Question number 16. Which two major powers of World War II were in the war longest? Holy Cross Castro. China and Japan. China and Japan is correct. Question number 17. Who were the four powers that occupied post-war Germany? Holy Cross, Swift. France, England, the USSR, and the United States. That is correct. Number 18. There is a brief poem by John Maxwell Edmonds that's engraved on the war memorial in India commemorating the men of the 2nd British Division who fell in the Battle of Kohima in 1944. I want you to finish this. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave... Catholic Olind. Our lives. I'm sorry, do you have an answer? Our today. Our today is correct. And gentlemen, that was the last question. We're out of time. Great job to everyone. The questions have all now been answered and our teams anxiously await the results. We'll take a short break, and when we return, we'll crown the 2022 champions of the National World War II Museum's High School Quiz Bowl. Stay tuned. They were ordinary people, just like you and me, who never expected to find themselves like this. But they found courage. They found grit, grace. They found strength in each other. And in their stories, we find strength within. The National World War II Museum. Find the extraordinary inside. Looking for your next adventure? Join me, Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser, and my friends from around the state as we uncover the latest things to do and see on Louisiana travel. Learn about our traditions, see where history happened, and so much more. Invite your friends and family back for a Louisiana homecoming. Come one, come y'all, and feed your soul every Wednesday at 7 p.m. on Your View, Cox Channel 4. In World War II, the road to Berlin followed many paths. Some marched the sun-scorched deserts of North Africa, while others crawled the sands of Omaha Beach. From the rubble-strewn streets of Italy to the frozen forest of the Ardennes, each soldier, sailor, and airman's journey was his own. But all were united by a common cause, victory. Follow in their footsteps on the road to Berlin, new at the National World War II Museum. It should have been impossible, crossing the world's widest ocean, to answer an attack made by a powerful adversary. From island to island to island, we fought through hostile terrain, malnutrition, disease, and at every step, an enemy that just kept coming. It should have been impossible. Find out how millions of Americans pushed past impossible on the road to Tokyo, new at the National World War II Museum. Welcome back to the championship round of the National World War II Museum's 2022 World War II High School Quiz Bowl. It's been a very exciting evening with both teams competing hard, but one of our teams has emerged as this year's victor. Let's see who will take home the 2022 championship. Our runner-up this evening with a score of 240 points is Holy Cross High School. So that means with a score of 320, Catholic High School is our 2022 World War II High School Quiz Bowl champion. Congratulations. 
Congratulations to both schools on a great competition. I'd like to recognize all of the hard work that's gone into making this competition such a success. I also want to give special thanks to the teachers, to the principals and parents of all the students who have competed in this year's competition. I'd also like to thank our partners at Cox Communications as well as the museum's education department for all of their many contributions. Again, congratulations to Catholic High School, our 2022 World War II Quiz Bowl champions. Thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you again next year.